It's iPhone day. <laughs> I'm so excited! I made a pit stop to be fully fueled before we get the iPhone because it's all about, you know, covering all our bases. We want to be awake. We want to be excited. We want to have energy, which requires a little um, fuel, okay? Something quick, something easy. And my celery juice is, whoa, there's a car coming. Hold on. My celery juice is uh, what keeps me uh, thriving, okay? Also, I don't know. I'm in a little bit of a dilemma because I have not, um, oh, are they trying to come in here? Even freaking better. Thanks, you little lifesavers. Um, I'm in a tiddly bit of a dilemma, nothing major, but, uh, I have not, uh, you know, today's iPhone day, um, and I have not bought a phone case for said iPhone, and I get it. I really do. The light's gonna turn red. Sorry, friends, I am on a mission. Um, I get it, like, the new iPhones are... They're, you know, shatterproof. I don't, I don't think that they said that they were shatterproof, but like they're indestructible. Okay, also <laughs> never said they were indestructible. They're supposed to be better quality. Let's go with that. They are supposed to have like, you know what I mean? That really thick glass that makes sure that they don't break. But I just, I just don't, I just know myself and I know that I would find a way to break it. And so the fact that I don't have a phone case, I didn't purchase one because I pre-ordered my phone and I've had the entire week, the entire week, I looked and the entire week, every Apple store around me had the iPhone cases. I could pick it up same day, not a dilemma easy peasy lemon freaking squeezy right but i just kept going uh i'll wait uh i'll wait you know eventually i'll do it later now it's friday and i'm picking up the phone i don't have a phone case to go on top of it so i don't know if they'll let me just buy one while i'm there i think i just want to buy the red phone case like the silicone one i don't know if they'll just allow me to just purchase it while i'm there that would be really kind of them. Hi. I don't know that person. Um, that would be really, really kind of them to just let me purchase while I'm there. Just buy it. Because I don't even want to open the phone if I don't have a phone case to put it in. I'm like, it will be fine. It 100% will be fine. I just am nervous. But that's okay. Um, but that's the update I had for you. Okay, I'm going in. I'll see you on the flip side. The light's so bright, I don't think you can really see it. But, I got it. It's here. I'm so excited. And I got a phone case for it. So, loved that. I'm so glad that I picked it up from this store. There's like three Apple stores close to me. Which is so weird because I'm from a small town and... There's no Apple stores close to me. There's only one, but it's an hour and a half away. Anyways, I literally walked in, walked up. My appointment was 9 to 9.15. It's 9.12 and I'm already like out of there. I It was so quick. It was so simple. They had everything so spread out so it didn't feel like super crammed and crowded. It just was like a fun experience actually. And I got my phone and I'm so excited. Should I check to make sure it's a... I don't know what I'm checking for, but how funny would that be if she gave me an iPhone 13 Pro Max? It wouldn't be funny, but it would kind of be funny. Oh, O'Reilly's auto part. Yeah. Hi. Okay. So we're back home. Look, I got a Stanley Cup. I know. It's a trend and I, I get it, but come on, come on. 
Look at this. I would have been fine with just any like tumbler glass with a handle. Makes all the difference in the world. It's obviously not what you came here for, but I just wanted to um, say that. Also, people are reselling these for so much. I lucked out and got it off of um, like when it dropped. I was looking around and people were paying like 80 and $90 to like buy them. Like people are selling them on Facebook Marketplace for that much. Used. That's what's really nerve wracking. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. Look what I got. I got it. It's here. I'm so excited. This is my first time I've ever, I've never pre-ordered an iPhone before. Um, and I think only one other time have I got it on the actual day that it dropped. But I just like lucked out and like called every single store ever and <laughs> they ended up having one and I was like, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Um, but this time, I didn't have to do that and I didn't have to stress about it because it was already waiting for me. And I'm so excited. I did pick up a red phone case because I was wanting a red phone case for this phone that I have, which is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But I don't know why I just didn't, I didn't feel like I could get over the fact that this was blue and then it popping out of the red. I don't know. I don't know. That is also one of the things I'm excited about, about not having a colored phone anymore. I've loved it. This phone is so pretty. And I think this is probably the best like Pro Max color that they've ever done personally. I just think it's like super subtle, but it's, it just is a really cool looking phone. Um, but I'm, I will say I am excited to not have a colored phone anymore. I knew it was gonna happen eventually. Like I knew eventually I was gonna kind of be like, uh, I just want like a white phone or a black phone uh, because I just, I get tired of color. But I will say this phone, I am sad to trade it in. Like I am sad to get rid of this color because I think it's, like I said, I think it's the best color they've ever done. So if you're looking at getting the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the Sierra Blue or you're getting, or you just got it, or you're getting the iPhone 14 Plus, I think, and then, yeah, the iPhone 14 and the 14 Plus come in a blue color. I really, I really love this color. As someone who's like always tired of color, this is such a good color. I'm sorry, it's so good. That's not what we're here for though. This is what we're here for. So I pre-ordered it last Friday and I got the iPhone 14 Pro Max in space black, which is like their new color. And I'm really excited because I, used to always get the black iPhone. I started getting it when I got like the iPhone 7, I think. Um, and I was obsessed with it and then they took it away and I loved the space gray. I had it before I had this one. Um, but I'm, I'm like excited cause I haven't, I feel like I haven't seen a lot of images or like I watched so many like Apple reviews while they were like at the Apple event. Um, I watched so many people like talk about it, but they were all talking about the deep purple, which purple is just not gonna work for me. I have never liked purple. So when I saw it was purple, I was like, I know that I'm not gonna get that color. So either I'm gonna get the silver or I'm gonna get the black. And then I went with this one, but I'm so excited. Okay, let's, I can talk forever. So let's just open it. It's not as fun anymore. I will say that cause I did, open last year's, it unboxed last year's, and it's like there's not the silicone, or not, it's not silicone, but like the plastic wrap around. For me personally, that was my favorite part. I get it, we're saving the planet. I, I do, I understand it. I just am like, it's a little, a little less exciting. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Also, another thing you didn't come for, I just got my nails done, okay. We'll try it again. Oh shoot! That's, that's fancy. Look at this. I'm sorry. That's, that's snazzy. That actually shocked me. This phone is black. Like, this is, this is not, this is no longer gray. This is a black phone. I'm sorry, this is so good. Look at this. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know, do I wanna go back to a dark phone? Now I'm like, oh baby. 
Look at this. That is fingerprint central. Okay, where should I put this? Um, I'm gonna set this right there. Don't break. And the box, there's nothing exciting in here anymore, okay? You get a phone charger, which I still have the box for my 13 Pro Max and the charger is still in there because I just used the one next to my bed. But you do get a phone charger. It does have the USB-C thing. And when I was there, she was like, like you can buy a, a charging block. And they're like 50 bucks there. And I'm like, absolutely not. I have 100, I'm fine. You guys are rude for not putting it in there, but whatever. And then in here, you get a little sticker. I was a little curious to see if they were gonna give like, I know that they have been giving like black stickers for like the space gray stuff. Nope, they gave me a little white one. Okay, that's it. That's everything that's in the box. It's not exciting at all. So, oh, the camera's bigger. Here's the two phones side by side. These cameras are so much bigger than these ones. Is this one thicker? I don't know, maybe it's just a color thing. Is it? This one feels like, this one feels heavier. This one's definitely heavier than this one. Same exact phone. This one's heavier. These cameras are much bigger though. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Okay, let's take it off. Here we go. Again. Personally, not super satisfied by it. But you know what? That might have been fun for you. I don't know. This is like, this is like a sassy phone. You know what I mean? Like this phone is like cool. You're a cool girl. Love that for you. This phone is like, kind of, I would be scared. Like, you know what I mean? You know those people that you're just like, walk the other way like they just like automatically intimidate you because it feels like they have it all together that's what i feel like this phone is like it's like whoa they know what they're doing you know i don't know that might just be me okay let's turn it on i've heard people say that the turn on sound is different so I'm confused. When is it supposed to turn on? Here it is. Love to see it. All right. Just gonna go through the settings. This is the part I absolutely hate. I know that they make it so easy and that is incredible, but literally never fails for me that the phone ends up like just not wanting to uh, like transfer over. So I end up spending like three hours doing a job that most people only take 15 minutes doing. I think it's me. I think I'm doing something wrong, but I don't know. So it says I can switch it all over. Part of me wants to switch it all over. Part of me does not want to switch anything over and just like start out as a new phone but I'm just gonna switch it all over because I want all my pictures on this phone and I don't wanna have to do that. All right. It's connecting. Oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Once my passcode, can't show you that. Let's let that do its thing and then I'm gonna show you my phone case. I got the red phone case. This phone case is literally available every single time there's a new iPhone. I'm not joking you. This is the one color you can count on. It's the product red. It's always gonna be around. Look at how, like, come on. Come on, look at how intense that is. That's just fun. It's just fun. We've got it. So the phones are transferring now and I'm just gonna kind of let them transfer over and not do anything because I don't want to mess it up. And then we'll come back when they've transferred away. So it's the next day now. I knew this, this was what was gonna end up happening. It 
literally told me it had like 11 hours, that it was gonna take 11 hours, and then it stayed at 11 hours for like three hours, and then I reset both phones, and then it took its time way down and said it was only gonna take a couple hours, um, and then it sat there, and then I had to finish updating. This phone was updated, but it didn't have the iOS 16 update, so I had to go back through, start all over, reset it again, update this one, and then I ended up actually having to leave uh, because I had an appointment at four, so I just spent the evening without a phone. You know, a fun little adventure. But I have played with it for a little bit, and I'm just gonna say what everybody's thinking. It's not that much different. It's not, <laughs> it's like, I love it, and I genuinely am so excited about it, but that's just like, that's because I get excited about very, very small things. It's not that much different. Like the cameras are different. The, you can tell that the cameras on the new one are bigger than the cameras on the old one, but they're still very good quality photos. Like I'm gonna take the exact same photo. They're right next to each other. Okay. I'm gonna take a photo of you sitting on my chair. Okay. You can tell there's a little bit of difference um, the quality is obviously better on the new one, but it's not major, major, major differences. The camera on this one did upgrade. This one has 48 megapixels. There's a lot of like different like techie details, like in-depth, like professional style stuff that they would have to explain to you. That's really cool and like has really cool capabilities for like videoing and doing just different stuff like that, which is awesome. But this one is fully capable of doing all of that. So you can see in that photo, like this one, the on the 14 Pro Max, the quality is just a little bit better, which you're gonna expect, it's a new phone, they upgraded the cameras, the quality's gonna be better. But it's not, unless you're like very, very, very detailed and looking at it from like a professional standpoint, you're not really to the naked eye gonna notice the difference, if that makes sense. The other difference is this one now has the dynamic island. So it has the little pill shaped thing up there versus like this one just has, this one just has like the little notch. To me, the notch never bothered me. I know, I feel like that's like blasphemy because everyone hated the notch. The notch never bothered me. I didn't really think anything of it. I just thought that like, cool, that's where the camera is, yay. Um, what's interesting about the dynamic island is like when you are doing something, it kind of just like, say I'm playing this, it will just kind of go up there. And so now my music is up there. And then say I switch to like a timer and I put like a timer on, when I flip up, it goes up there. So you can see like my timer is right there and then my music is right there and you can toggle between the two. Like I can click on that and it opens my music or I can click right there and it opens the timer. So like, that's cool. That's a nifty little thing, but I, I don't know if it's like the best thing in the world. I think it's really cool. But my question is like, you're gonna be touching right there around the camera all the time. Let me stop the timer because it's going to go off in an hour and terrify me. You're going to be touching around the camera all the time. So I'm like, you're always going to have to be like, if you're going to take a picture, you're going to have to like smudge it off, you know? But my favorite part, the part that I personally was the most excited about and the part that I feel like I was watching all these like tech YouTubers at the event and like watching their videos and everybody was talking about the new deep purple, which is great. I love that for people. Personally, the purple color is not gonna work for me. I've never been a fan of the color purple. I've just never been a fan of that color. So when I saw that they were, it was purple, I was like, well, not picking that one. Makes it easier. Now it's just down to silver or space black. This color is so good. I truly like can't get over it. It's so like classy and like, I don't know, this is just the color that you see someone holding this phone and you're like, oh my Lord, they have it all together. Like they know exactly what they're doing. 
Nine times out of 10, you're incorrect because we're all just trying to figure it out. But like, come on, look at this. Look at this. I just, this is like my favorite. <laughs> if, 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 like my, I can't even tell you, this is my favorite part of my entire upgrade is the color of the phone. That is a horrible, horrible reason to upgrade. I am fully aware, but like, I, I just like, like, come on, like, it's so good. And if you liked, if you used to like, like the black phones when they had them before, I feel like the last time they had a black phone was like, what, the 10s Max? Yeah, the 10s, right? I don't know. Pretty sure after that, they switched to space gray. And I like always, after I think the seven, I always picked the black phone, then they, you know, took it away, but they brought it back. Yes, I love this color. This is just a good color. I really do love this phone and I am gonna miss having the blue phone. But like, then I see this one and I'm like, come on, it's so good. It's so freaking good. And then I put it in a case and I'm like, wow, look at that. Look at that. I tried putting this phone case on the 13 yesterday and I thought it was gonna fit because the phone doesn't feel that much different. I mean, the cameras are bulkier. That's like the biggest part and it's a little bit heavier. Maybe not though. I feel like they're the same. But uh, the case does not fit on the phone. It sort of fits, but I don't know if you can see that. It like, see the space? But for me personally, the red and the blue, I just, I'm excited to put any color phone on here. And again, this is a personal thing. You may love a couple colors together and that's great. But for me, it would always, I just kept trying to get very simple colors and I got like an orange one and I only used it for like three weeks because I couldn't leave it on there anymore. <laughs> um, so I'm just excited to have it just so simple, but look at this. It's so good. I'm gonna spend the whole time talking about the color because that's the most exciting part to me. Um, there's upgrades in the phone. This has like a different chip. It's faster. The retina display is better, but I'm not a tech reviewer. So I'm not gonna dive into those. Uh, I love to watch other tech reviews. One of my favorite things to watch is like, like tech gurus review the iPhone. I don't know why. I will literally spend hours and hours and hours watching it, but I don't know enough to try and dabble in that. So that's just my little take on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Again, I don't think if you, my parents were talking about upgrading, they have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and they were just gonna trade their phones in and do like what I do and just upgrade their phone. And I honestly am going to probably call them <laughs> and be like, it's not it's not that much different. Like I, I don't know if I would tell you to upgrade. So I love it. This is something I enjoy doing. I send my phone in. It's just something I personally choose to do, like a decision I choose to make. But I genuinely don't know if this is something I would be like, yes, this year, upgrade, everything's better, it's great. Are there things that are better? Yes, the camera's better, it's gonna be faster. Apple said that there's the best battery life ever in this phone, but this battery was really good. I think if you have like, maybe if you're on like the 11 or the 12, honestly, then, maybe it would make a difference, but even then, you know, I, that's just where it comes down to decision. If you're wanting a black iPhone again, I don't know if that's a good enough reason to upgrade. It was for me, but <laughs> you know, to each their own. Just, there's not that much that's different this year. And um, you know, it's, it's kind of still the same phone. It's like very minor updates. Also, Apple put always on display in this phone. I turned it off because great idea, love it. Apparently people are like really excited about that. I personally 
don't like the idea of it because my thought process is all it's gonna do is run my battery out. I had it on the Apple Watch that I have and I turned it off because for one, I hated that it was always on and two, my battery lasted so little time. So that's not a draw for me, maybe it is for you. There's a reason. Um, but again, I'll show you one last time before we go. I'm sorry, it's so good and I feel like when I was watching all the Apple events, no one was talking about this color. Everyone was like, hey, purple, it's the greatest. And I'm like, no, show me the space black. I know it's different than gray and I've been wanting a black iPhone. Look at it, come on. It's so good. It looks so freaking good. I kind of wish I would have got a clear case, but my problem is I really love the way the silicone cases feel and the clear cases are like hard and I feel like they slip out of my hand more. So I don't know, cause I want to see it. I want to, oh, the case is on. Um, I want to be able to see this. Cause look at this. Are you kidding? The color is enough for me. Um, but if you're not concerned at all about color and you're just wondering if you should upgrade because it's a better phone than last year, it's different. Like there's small differences that make it better, but I don't know if it's like, wow, this is something everybody has to have, you know? But I mean, I like it. That, that's all this is about, okay? All right, I'm gonna go now because my camera is about to die, but I hope you have the best day. Um, I don't know if I ever said this, but my name's Callie. Stick around if you want to. If not, I get it, you know? Here's my new iPhone, here's my old iPhone. New one, old one. Okay, let me know if you decide to get it and what color you get. This is just such a good color. I just such a good color, but like this one. Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs>